Did you really think I'd take my pants off? <laughs> Let's get into it. I'm going to be showing you how to take in the waist of your pants. Now this is super useful because as guys and human beings, we fluctuate in weight. So you're gonna be wearing the same pants, but you might be too big or too small for them. And being able to let in or take in or let out the pants is gonna be super helpful. And it's something you can do at home simply with just a single machine. Now I'm gonna get right into it. So come on with me and we're gonna start the process of marking the pants. There's no rocket science here, guys. You're gonna to wanna to put your pants on. As you can see, these pants are a little big for me, so I'm doing them on the outside of my jeans just so that you can get a good idea of how I'm gonna mark it. But if you're doing it on yourself or on somebody else, you just take the back seam and you pinch it as tight as you can, and then you mark on both sides of the out seam where your fingertips are touching. And that'll show you how much needs to come in. Now you have the mark, you're going to be turning it inside out and ripping apart the waistband. Each brand and manufacturer is different, so you have to figure it out as you go, but usually there's only about four or five tacks holding it on. Also, if there is a belt loop in your way, you're going to have to remove that as well. Simply just take off the stitching on the belt loop, cut it off, and just remove it. So this is what the finished product will look like. And because of demonstration purposes, I'm going to be changing the marks on mine to more something realistic for someone just slightly changing their weight. Doing it this much, you're gonna have to get into the seat and the crotch was a whole different thing altogether. So what we'll do is about an inch and that will accommodate for most weight changes. And if you're using Taylor's chalk, make sure you remember the marks or write them down so that you know the distance because the chalk will go away with the steam of the iron. Now with the iron hot and at the ready, you're going to lay out your piece as flat as possible and just smooth out that entire seam so that it looks like just two straight pieces of fabric laying on each other. At this stage, this is where you're going to either let it out like this or you're going to take it in this way. Letting it out is towards the edge of the fabric. Taking it in is in more towards the waistband. But we're going to clear that off and we're going to get ready to actually make our mark taking it in. Since our total amount that we need to take in is an inch, we're going to do a half an inch from the seam. That way, when it doubles off both sides, it will equal an inch on the finished product. Does that make sense? So we're just gonna work our way down doing that half an inch till the bottom of the waistband. Then we're going to slowly taper it right back in, going down about three inches from the waistband into the seat of the pants. Now the goal here is to make it as gradual of a angle into the old seam that way you don't see any puckers in the back of your pants since we're only taking the waistband in an inch three will be fine but it really is going to depend on how much the more you take in the longer the angle into the old seam will need to be now before we start sewing we do need to check the waistband seam right here we're going to want that to line up perfectly or then you're going to really see a difference when you sew over it so what i like to do is i take a pin I feel around to make sure that the waistband is lined up. Turn it right side out, check, make sure that it's perfect. And that looks really good right there. Go back and throw a pin right on that waistband. That'll hold it fairly well. And then when you get to that area, just make sure that you feel around and make sure that it's still in place. But this will make it look more professional than your amateur sewers out there. Now, when it goes to sewing it down, all you're gonna do is follow the line, guys. Super simple. I like to start in the original seam and work my way up to the waistband. Just, again, just following that line you made. If you did a good enough job, this will carry you through. Get to the waistband, make sure it fits right, like we were talking about, and then just go straight to the edge. Now, once it's all said and done, this is the seam that you should have, obviously with matching thread. And then all you're gonna do is start taking apart the old stitching. This is a chain stitch, so it's super easy just to find one and pull it out. You might have a normal regular stitch where you gotta do it one at a time. Unfortunately, guys, that's just how it is. We're getting so close to being done, I can smell it. Now, again, with the iron all ready to go, you're going to lay it out and you're going to press the entire fold open. So find that crease, spread both pieces of fabric apart from each other, and you're just gonna grab the iron and just shove it in there and get it as flat as you can. Using an ironing board is definitely a lot easier than just using your table because you can really get a better bend and a cleaner press. But because I've done this quite a few times, I kind of know how to work with the material. But if it's your first time, make it easier on yourself and get an ironing board. Now this step is really important because you got to tack down the waistband. You're going to find that center crease where you just press the fabric open and you're going to pin straight through it. So go through the first crease, turn it around, make sure that it went through the other seam right there. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'll try and wiggle it around a little bit. 
and then just go right back up through the seam and making sure that it through both perfectly. Now here we go, we're gonna be pulling out the two inside flaps of fabric that are touching each other to kind of reveal them from the outer pieces of fabric, just like this. So just kind of roll it back like you're peeling some corn. And the next step with the sewing machine is we're going to be tacking down the waistband by just sewing straight up this piece of fabric. And we're going to be doing that on both sides. And if done correctly, this is what your seam should look like. And you're just gonna pull it right through back to how you found it. And this is going to tack down the waistband. Now, if you have a belt loop that needs to put on, this is a step for you. If not, just skip it. You're just going to be laying this down so that the bottom part that you cut off is laid down flat, just like this. You're going to be tacking right down at the bottom there. Now I say go for a couple tacks just because you wanna make sure that this is nice and secure. And your finished product of this tack will look like this so that when the belt loop is turned up, you do not see that stitching underneath the loop itself. Next phase is we're going to be doing the same thing, but just top stitching on top of this belt loop right across the top. And like clockwork, bob and change right before you're about to finish the actual sewing project. But just like you did on the bottom part of the loop, you're going to get your sewing machine set on top and you're just gonna perform a couple tacks, making sure that it's securely down and using matching thread color is going to be huge here, guys. Now with the finished product, this is what you're going to be left with. Obviously that belt loop right there on the left underneath my one thumb, that would not be there if I was really doing these pants for someone, but just showing you how to put on a belt loop, this is the process. And if I said it once, I've said a thousand times, the way to make all of your jobs look professional is with a good last steaming. There you have it, guys. This is the finished product. And for being a pair of pants that fit on the outside of my jeans, I'm actually pretty happy with how it turned out. The one thing I will mention is the seat, the lower part of the seam does need taken a little more, but that's another video for another time. Those pants were a little big for me, but the demonstration was spot on. And if you guys know an easier, more straightforward way of doing it, please let me know. But as far as I'm concerned, that's the easiest and most professional way to take in the waist of dress pants. Now, guys, if you found this informative or you enjoyed it in any way or would like to share it with somebody you know, please do so by liking, commenting, sharing, whatever it is you want to do on this video. It means so much that you took the time to sit down and watch this. And I would love to be able to make more of these. So keep sending me ideas and I'll keep pumping out content. See you guys later.